let's be honest, many of the people who are critical of no labels, you know, are saying that no labels is going to somehow spoil the race and it's going to elect uh, Donald Trump. Truth is, the critics of no labels fear competition. They fear choice. They say, oh, boy, if we, you know, if we have uh, too much democracy here, you know, we're, we're going to have a, you know, we're going to lose our democracy. That's their, their, their argument. It's, it's not a very good one because two thirds of Americans don't want either one of these candidates. They think Trump is too crazy. They think Biden is too old. And neither of the parties are listening to what voters are telling them. That's their problem. No labels is responding to the marketplace. They're trying to create some type of a centrist independent movement, which I think would be very healthy for this country. It is long overdue. Uh, and, uh, and let's just see where the chips fall.